Hey everyone, this is Bridget and today I wanted to talk to you about Sirius. I'm going to be doing a series of all of our extraterrestrial connections, all of our lineages, and all the benevolent support so that we can really tap into it and utilize these energies as we work on our ascension process and also reconnect with our soul lineages, like where where are you from? Maybe you have a star soul incarnation on these different planets and so you can see based on your frequency what connections you have. So Syrians customarily would be more of like a very soothing, like all-encompassing, very calming and nurturing and wise and deep energy. That's what I've noticed Syrian attributes to be in humans that I can just kind of sense it right away that you have like a Syrian presence. It could be that puppy dog energy as well or that deep whale wisdom and that would be some attribute, some way to begin to see if you might have Syrian connections. So Sirius is the brightest star in the night sky. It is 20 times brighter than our sun. So it's been a shining light for humanity, for different civilizations throughout ancient times to connect in and to really gather new frequencies, gather wisdom. And this has been most famously connected to the Dogon tribe in Africa who worked with the Nomos uh, Syrian beings, which is from Sirius A. And Sirius A has the physical incarnating beings. They're more amphibious, they're more uh, fish-like, uh, newt-like beings who are in and out of water. That's why I wanted to do it by water because the Sirius connection is really attributed and has that water energy, has that blue energy. It's a blue star in the night sky. And so these energies and these civilizations have come to Earth many of times they've taught, say this Dogon tribe, a lot of their wisdom, a lot about mathematics, astronomy, and they've visited Earth. And they've also, not only the Nomos, but just the, the Syrian consciousness was very connected with Egypt, and intimately interwoven into the religious uh, practices of ancient Egypt, were, which we knew were very advanced and connected to the occult. So these practices were to connect with Isis and to connect with these different gods. And they used these higher frequencies and even aligned their festivals, aligned the Great Pyramid with these connections in the night sky to this frequency. And in Egypt, it's not only Sirius that was guiding them. And Sirius in those times was depicted more as a cat, as the feline beings. And there are feline beings associated with Sirius as well. A lot of those are Lyran too, but a lot of the feline energy comes through. So it can also be the dog star energy, which is the most obvious, but also it's that feline energy too that was coming through from ancient Egypt. So moving into the dog energy, it's that unconditional love um, that they bring through. So a lot of that can be why maybe you're attracted to dogs. Some of the other really, truly alien Syrian consciousnesses that we can connect with are right here on our planet. The alien species of the cetaceans, the dolphins and the whales that I've talked about so many times because their connection with them is so important in awakening all of our connections to out there. It's like going right into our planet. It's right in our water. And it's been so fun going into the ocean, diving deep into these energies because it's like going on to the Syrian mothership. It's, it's infinite speeds, but completely standing still. If I, if I could describe the Syrian energy, it's just like so fast, but yet so present, you know, the energy of that well that's like just moving one arm so slowly and shifting, you know, thousands of tons of water in that moment. So connecting in with the whale and dolphin consciousness will be a great way to connect you in with Sirius. There are many legends of the whales and the dolphins actually flying from space and into our oceans in a lot of the tribal cultures around this world. So it's pretty interesting connecting with that energy actually floating in from space onto Earth, this alien species for us to connect with. So I know you guys always want me to tell you about my experiences. So one of my experiences when I went the first time swimming with the dolphins in Hawaii was 
a true reawakening to my connections to Sirius. I've always been associating myself with Pleiades because that was my first insight and awakening and connection. But I was like, oh yeah, I don't have connections to Sirius. I'm just gonna go check it out because then I, I'm an ambassador and I need to go understand that frequency. So I'll you know, volunteer to go hang out with the dolphins. That sounds fun. But I didn't know that I had a connection. And that's the thing, like right now, if you're watching this and you're going, I don't know. It might just be buried and it might just need to kind of, you know, come off. And going and doing these kind of things as well as just opening yourself up in a really sacred space to connect with that particular frequency and calling that in, that is a great way to begin to connect with the frequencies and see if you have associations, see if you have lineage there. So I went and swam with the dolphins and every time when I came back to the house, after I was just swimming in another world, swimming in this higher dimensional frequency. And that would be more connected to Sirius B, which is the non-physical sixth density, super high frequency of Sirius. And connecting with that frequency is gonna be more important actually than Sirius A during this time because we can shoot for the stars and land at the moon kind of an energy where we shoot high, we aim for six density, and then we can land it forth. Um, so connecting with that higher frequency is going to connect the physical mind with the higher mind because the higher mind is non-physical. So it'll help with that merging to connect with this higher dimensional Syrian energy. And it's a part of our DNA. Sirius is one of the contributors of our original transition into this kind of hybrid human. So we have it in us. And you also might have star connections too that embed it more with these other past lives, simultaneous lives that you have there as well. So as I was swimming with the dolphins and, and going home, I would just dream in this space and I had never felt myself so relaxed. It was beyond relaxation. You're full on swimming in the infinite. It's so otherworldly, so other dimensional and it's such an important frequency to attune to. So even if you don't have the opportunity to come swim with dolphins or something like that, you can turn on dolphin or whale music and start attuning yourself to that energy. It'll start turning it on. Or hang out with cats and dogs. They're great transmitters of the energy as well. And about the fourth or fifth day in, as I didn't think I had any Syrian connections, I went to sleep or tried to go to sleep and then I started getting these downloads. And I don't take downloads lightly where it's just like, oh, I'm getting downloads all the time. Like it really has to be something that hits me and doesn't allow me to do anything else because it's that deep and profound. But I got these downloads and started channeling these symbols which were coming through just so streamlined and I felt my Syrian counterpart. I felt that other life that I had on Sirius and him coming through and being like, yo, you got connections here. You need to attune to this frequency. It's very important for you to bring this through, not only for yourself, but to other people. So I was channeling these different symbols and you can look at that channeled um, meditation and you can look at that and that'll help open that as well. It's on this channel. It's Syrian meditation that you can do as well. So let yourself begin to feel I mean, even through talking about it in this video, you'll be able to still get that frequency, get that attunement as we're calling Sirius in right now to transmit to you, to open you up and attuning to the waters right here, letting that energy flow into you, flow into your heart and begin to soften and smooth out those energies. And that is the Syrian energy, which is very helpful in humanity's fast paced culture right now because it's the exact opposite opposite and getting into the energy you will actually be able to do so more you'll just shift you'll just manifest instead of having to grind 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 it'll just be expansive movements that will have deep repercussions and deep unfoldments which is so beautiful there's a lot more we can say about Sirius but for now that's the first taste and comment below if you have any additional things to add to it because there's it's vast there's so much to each of these civilizations and this one's particularly connected to Sirius Earth 
and Ashikani, which creates a triad, which is helping our evolution process. We're going from third to fourth density, Ashikani, Bashar civilization going to fourth to fifth density, and they're going from fifth to sixth density. So we're all ascending together. Through this shifting of dimensions, it's like multiple dimensions are moving. It's, it's not just Earth. We're interwoven into the galactic story and to really begin to feel that in our bodies and feel that it's not just Earth, it's everything that's moving and we're all moving together and we're super supported so enjoy i'll be interspersing these different galactic lineage videos over the next few months and be doing different subjects as well and also remember to go over to my personal channel because a lot of you have been asking about my life and what do i do in my life and the harmonious earth headquarters so check that out because i posted a video about my birthday party and what we do in sedona and that's really fun to see because we live a very awesome and out there life together and if you like videos like this you can subscribe below and more will be coming your way so i'll say goodbye to you for now and i'll see you next tuesday Ears to the cosmos, translating serious to audible vernacular, activating pyramids, myriad various mirror image chariots appearing, his awareness of the spirit, fractal, ecstatic dance of the planet's glow, glimmers of an over soul's endeavors to grow with individual notes of soul expressors, swimming in the middle of it, you are living in the rhythm of the moon, drop, the pyramids are spinning as two stars appear with mirror images, both reflecting infinitely from their own positions, it's, oh god, it's the dark star opera, quantum choir avant-garde, our design author Writing the refinement of the mind In alignment with the higher vision Dialed into wise On a wild winded expedition Spiraling to find There's a fire in the sky And a pilot has arrived With a fire in his eyes From a dilated vibrance Finally a flight Truly suited for the future Buddha headed voodoo Priest peddling super Nova Passions Eye and eyelashes Cyanide glances Through kyanite lenses Divine sight trances Chances given to you now Move to the cocoon With only room for what the truth allows Holonomic Polyphonic Mnemonics Activating biologically Engaging Fiber optics to attune to higher octaves Giving truth inspired options for the future fire Sparking revolution of the truth renowned This the Newman of the sacred sites Otherwise known as the pyramid Working in tandem with Sirius Preparing you for contact Dancing of a different kind This the Newman of the sacred sites Otherwise known as the pyramid Working in tandem with Sirius Preparing you for contact Dancing up a different kind These indigos got it Planet pulses activate the triple fold body I elaborate the fascinate eleven fold strongest Wax faces drip off the crystal skull I see a 5D vertex Leaking holographically Feeding a symmetrical reflection Speaking back to me And back to me as I'm leaking Telepathically with retrofitted liquid Amphibious anatomy These instincts pour through a 6D portal Through my lips Each morsel is a glimpse of the immortal me You are cordially invited on a tour To the core of the source Transmitting oratorically This track has formed a natural actual Core from your pineal gland to a craft in astral orbit. All aboard is last call for blast off. Catch me in your DMT dreams for the chorus. Otherwise known as
the paradigm. Working in tandem with Sirius, preparing you for contact, dancing of a different kind. It's the Newman of the sacred sites, otherwise known as the paradigm. Working in tandem with Sirius, preparing you for contact, dancing of a different kind.